morning everybody my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash the like button please do subscribe alexa good morning good morning on this day in 1860 the first known recording of a human voice was made 20 seconds of an unknown singer belting out eau claire de la lune it was no chart topper alexa what's the time please it's 11.53 a.m. Good morning, guys. So it's nearly lunchtime. I'm really, really hungry, so I'm going to eat my chicken curry after I get off this video. I also want to scratch my scratch card. Yes, the charges came this morning. The charges came this morning. That is an 0800 number ringing my mobile. It's going to drain my battery. I've <laughs> it's going to drain my battery. 0800 761 3372. I've just, um, my uh, iPhone chargers were in the post this morning. The post lady was early my phone charges so guys right so so far today bullying and harassment continues it won't stop <laughs> went down to the bin store black microwave on the floor black lego in the building black my microwave is yellow, my new one. Um, so, I uploaded videos to YouTube, I uploaded videos to TikTok. I left the building just after 10. Um, I don't know whether the, builder, uh, the cleaners have cleaned the building this morning or not. I don't think they have, not so far yet. And so I took Max out for a walk just after 10 a.m. All this harassment and bullying upsets me. I'd had a conversation with Kim in the co-op because there was hardly anybody in there this morning. And um, I was just general chit-chat when you speak to somebody like who you know. And... Um, you know, I've, I've lived in these flats for nearly four years and I, I've known Kim for that long. And you run out of things to say. So I just said, randomly, where do you do your shopping? I said, do you actually shop in the co-op to Kim? And she went, uh, no, I go to Aldi. And I'm going to tell you this, right? Because it's the words that people use, right? She said, um, I didn't think a lot about Aldi. I was a bit like dubious to go there, but my daughter said it was nice. So she said, I thought it was a bit stinky. She thought Aldi was a bit stinky. And I thought, what a strange choice of words. Maybe it's a bit small, maybe it's a bit um, tacky, maybe it's a bit like, she said she thought it had a lot of foreign products in it. Um, I buy for foreign products, I've got a Polish uh, can of paste in my fridge, I like Polish food. Um, so I came back into my flat, then I took Max out later on, and I went down the bottom of the road, and it was busy, so I thought, right, we're going to go onto the field, there was people going that way, people going that way, I just wanted to walk my dog. And um, so we started walking onto the field and there was this jogger, this black haired male jogger jogging past me that way, then he jogged that way. 
um, a lot of guys with shorts on um, for me it's a bit too windy and cold to wear shorts right now so I went out like here with a coat on and with trousers and I walked where I walked yesterday morning and afternoon uh, lots of like clothing and bedding strewed about the place for some reason like somebody's like duvet cover stuck in the fence weird um piece of a dog's ball on the floor and i was walking around the field and it was really windy i didn't want to stay up there very long it was blowing my baseball cap off it was blowing my hair in my eyes it was windy so we didn't stay out too long as I was coming off the field, there was this girl with bare legs, long hair, bare legs, shorts, running that way as I was coming off the field. And I just carried on walking, walked down, and then this builder, this foreign builder, I'd like it translated because I don't understand what he was saying. As I was walking past, there was a builder sat in a vehicle with a helmet over his head and he yelled something out and he started laughing now I'm English Engli English is someone had asked me am I foreign on my TikTok someone had asked me on my TikTok was I foreign so I walked past this builder guy who's through a fence and he's laughing his head off and he shouts something in a foreign language and I don't know what he said and then he started laughing again and I thought, carry on. You know, I, this is my country, I speak English and if you're going to shout something, you know, I can't understand it if it's in a foreign language. So I just walked past it, I think that's so rude. And you don't know if you're being insulted. When, when foreign guys shout things in the street in a foreign language in this country, which is Great Britain, I can't understand what they're saying. So they can get away with shouting abuse and even swearing at you and you wouldn't even know what they were saying. So I found that a bit rude, right? I did find it rude. I wouldn't go over to France or some, another country and start s swearing in English at them. I wouldn't. Or insulting them in, in English. I think that's so rude. Anyway, I walked past it and I just carried on into my flat. And I could smell drugs outside the building. I could smell hemp, marijuana, cannabis, whatever you call it, outside my block of flats. I smelt drugs. I go into my flats, I open my mailbox, I've got the two phone chargers. Jennifer is my mother, she's my mum. What's smelling cannabis? gonna do to me if I go in a taxi to see my mum unless they want me to get friendly with the taxi driver do they so we're not going up to see my mum today because I've had a blast of cannabis up my nose bear in mind it's the kids school holidays and there's children in this building So I've had a blast of drugs up my nose. My eyes start watering, I start to get a headache and I feel ill. Doesn't do anything for me. Come into my flat. Uh, I've got two iPhone chargers in the mail. Two white ones. In a grey package. They're not going to get me to sleep with dirty men by using drugs or trying to take away all my money.
and that's exactly what they're trying to do and I still haven't had a response from Medway Council about giving me a council tax bill that is over three times what it was last year it's taking up half my benefit each month They still haven't responded and given me amended bill yet. And what did High Housing say if we smelt drugs in the building? Report it to the police. I'm going to cook my lunch. I'm staying at home today. Cannabis makes me feel ill and I'm sure it makes other people feel ill as well. And what do people do to cover up the stench of drugs? Spray perfume. I was listening to, um, it makes you wonder if someone's listening into the radio stations I'm listening to. There was a play on yesterday about um, someone um, who they thought their husband was cheating, their boyfriend was cheating on them because money kept going missing, etc, etc, that they thought it was going on taking other women out for meals. And no, they were um, hooked on cannabis and weed. And they said, well, how do you know that? Well, I can smell perfume and they cover up the stench of cannabis by spraying perfume thinking it covers up the smell. So now we've got cannabis smoke again. Cannabis stink has started. When my son came down to me, what, a couple of weeks ago now, there was cannabis sm smell all around this block of flat. Not just a tiny smell, really bad thick stench of it and my son had come to see me <laughs> so I'm not going around to see my mother when I've had a load of cannabis up my nose so the phone is charging I don't tell lies, there's no need for it. There ain't no need to lie because you get caught out if you tell lies anyway. You do, don't you? You get caught out. Because a liar can't remember what they've said. They tell so many different lies, they can't remember what the original thing they've said. <laughs> so, we've had a message from Flirt Finder at 11.47. Oh, wait, my phone is updated. Let's see who's tried to contact me on Flirt Finder. Kindly athlete. I believe they're trying to get me. The guy behind me in the queue this morning had his wallet open and a £10 note hanging out. And bear in mind I had a £20 note in my hand. <laughs> uh, your Klarna payment of £18.61 didn't go through. Yesterday... No, that was the other day that was. I've sorted that out. So, let's see how, how many messages I've received from my mother over the past how many days? Shall we go to voicemail and see how many messages my mother's left me over, since last Wednesday? I think I've got to top up my phone.
We can't call voicemail at the moment, but I'm going to top up my phone. So I've got a £10 voucher here for EE that I got from the post office a few days ago. So, is it 150 EE? Welcome to EE. Great news. We've packed even more data, minutes and text into our top page go pack without adding a penny to the price. Your current balance is zero. You recently called us to top up. If you'd like to talk to us about that again, press one. To buy a pack, it's two. Or for anything else, choose three. Thanks. Just getting your information. To top up the number you're calling from, press one. To top up another page go phone or 4G EE Wi-Fi number, press 2. Please enter your four-digit PIN code now. If you prefer not to use it or you've forgotten it. Your last top up was £10. Using the stored card ending 9. If you'd like to use the same card, but to top up by a different amount, press 2. Or to use a different card, please press 3. I don't want to use a card, I want to use a voucher. 3. I didn't get that. Your last top up was £10. So I want to use my voucher, so I'm going to have to um, basically... I think you can text it, text VO, so text, it says text VO, so to, text VO, for God's sake, so V. Oh, voucher and the 16 digit code. Read that. my mum has called me over the past four days. Welcome to your EE voicemail. You have 15 new messages. 15 new messages. saved messages. First, new message. Hello, Mum. Hi, Mum. Hello, 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 to Janesta. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from my landline phone. To you, Janesta. The taxi is booked and it's on its way now for you. Okay, hope to see you soon. Bye. Message deleted. Next new message. Received Wednesday, April 3rd at... Your message will be saved for seven days. Next new message. Received Wednesday, April. Your message will be saved for seven days. Next new message. Received Wednesday, April 3rd. At your message will be saved for seven days. Next new message. Received Thursday, April 4th at 7.31 p.m. Good evening, Nestor. The usual evening the telephone call to wish you good night. God bless. I'll phone you tomorrow. Good night. Truth. Message deleted. Next new message. Received Friday. I'm your not going to go through them all. For 
seven days next new message. Received Friday. Eight, your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received Saturday. Your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received Saturday. Your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received Sunday, April 7th at 4.39 p.m. Uh, uh, this is a late afternoon call, Janestra. For me, your mother, Jennifer, from my land, my, my land phone, land phone is me, Jennifer, speaking, your mum, Janestra, giving you the usual late afternoon, daytime telephone call, let, let, just letting you know that I'm thinking of you. It isn't quite by the clock yet, so I hope it's not too early, not too late to ring you, but late this afternoon. I hope you've had a good day. And the last call of the day I will ring you from my landline phone will be this evening. Just one call. Just Your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received Sunday. Your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received yesterday at 11.07 a.m. Good morning, Janessa. This is your mother, Jennifer, speaking to you from my landline phone to you, Janessa. I do hope you had a good weekend. Thinking of you, Janessa, and I'll be in touch sometime of today again, just to let you know that I'm thinking of you. Okay, Janessa, bye for now. Have a your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received yesterday at 4.40 p.m. Hello, Janessa. Just giving you the usual afternoon daytime telephone call, letting you know that I'm thinking of you. Just a short call, just to let you know I'm thinking of you. Bring you later on this evening. Bye for now. I hope your message will be saved for seven days next new message. Received yesterday at 7.40 p.m. Good evening, Janessa. The last call of the, the daytime and night time. And I wish you good night and God bless. I'll pray you tomorrow. Bye. Your message will be saved for seven days first. Saved message. Received Tuesday, April 2nd. So my mum has it wrong today. Well, it hasn't registered it, but she has wrong. Or not. How am I feeling? I'm fed up. I don't feel safe. I've just come into a waft of drugs. I feel like I'm being prostituted or tried to be prostituted. People getting me to do things I don't really want to do. I'm a human being. I'm not a. I feel like I'm. I don't feel like I'm being sex trafficked. I feel like people are using me and trying to use me for sex, but I don't give in to it. Um, does my mother care? Well, that is a question I often ask myself every day of the week. Did she ever care? And that's another question I've always asked myself. Putting your daughter in vulnerable positions, putting her in danger, um, you know, playing games. Uh, my dad was a sex beast. And um, she fed this sex beast, she clothed him, and she let him take me to places where I was sexually abused. Do I think my mother cares about me? No, I think she cares about herself. And that's my personal opinion. And do I want to see my mother today? No. See you later.